Hello everyone, I'm Jim Lewis from Model Train Technology and today we have a new product announcement. This is an increment from the nano sensor which I showed you about uh, two months ago. Uh, the sensors slide under the track, they're tethered here. Uh, what's unique about this one is there are two sensors and this allows us to determine direction. Uh, so there's a lot of uh, interesting applications for this. Uh, a couple of things of turning turnouts and you want the turnout to be turned in one direction, protect the turnout, but not turn it uh, when the train gets to the other side of the turnout. Uh, so using the uh, dual nano is what we call this, uh, allows you to do that. Also, if you want signaling from east traffic, but not west traffic, uh, there's a way to do that. And uh, there are three outputs. Uh, one is uh, the main uh, output for if anything is detected. So either sensor detects, that one will go on. And then as I'll show you in, the, in just a minute, uh, this little light uh, red and green goes on depending on whether the traffic is east or west bound and or of course northbound or southbound depending on how your layout is set up. Uh, we also went to the uh, smaller uh, plug-in type here. Uh, we were eliminating the DuPont plugs, which are the little black plugs that we stuck out. So it's very neat, a uh, lot of function. And so let's just go right to it. I'll show you the install on my layout, a little sample uh, layout. And I want to let you know also that this is the first step in expanding into what we call uh, automation. So we have a, uh, on the product roadmap, the idea to be able to control engines. Uh, we're not putting decoders in engines, to, so whatever you have on your layout today, uh, whether it's DC or DCC, uh, we have plans to be able to automate the train coming into a station, stopping, playing certain kinds of sounds, waiting and then leaving and aligning the switches. Uh, there's a lot of other things that we can do, and so that's just, uh, just, that's just a prelude. But in order to make uh, many of those uh, automations work, we needed to determine whether the train was coming from the east or from the west, and so this Nano Duo will allow us to do that. So let's go to the demo. It's rather short, but uh, short and sweet. Here's the same corner of the layout that I used to introduce the nano sensor, which slides onto the track. This is N scale. And I have one of my power modules here uh, for simplicity, uh, just the AC connector. And I've already connected up the, the wire for the nano dual. Uh, you'll notice that we use the, uh, the new JST one millimeter plug. It's really simple and it helps to keep the wires connected uh, over the DuPont. Uh, then coming out are three wires. Uh, so there's a green wire and a white wire and a yellow wire. And the yellow wire is connected to anything that you want to trigger regardless of the direction. Okay. And then each of the green and the white wire, one will be west, one will be east or north and south, however you configure it. And it will only trigger when the train is moving in that direction. So I have my uh, Union Pacific uh, in car here just to test. And here is the, uh, the, the Nano Dual, okay? Single push button. Uh, this light uh, is a little um, resin uh, bulb that we put on here. And uh, I've already cut the track. Remember the last time I, I just slid this right under. And so we'll just do that today. And here I cut a parallel one, it's about two inches. Um, if you have Trains going at, I'm going to say, normal speed. Uh, this is far enough apart. Whoops, let me just put these on opposite side just because I dug it out a little bit further. Um, and then let's just slide this right under the track. Again, this is end scale, and it's above the cork. Uh, and my fat fingers getting in there. Come on, there we go. Okay. So we just have the two sensors. And the last time I drilled a hole and put it down through, I'm not going to do that this time. Uh, you get the idea. All right. And so I have five wires coming out of each of these. Two are power, two are the data communication, and, and one wire tells me which one of the two it is. And I'm just going to plug this in. All right. And when we turn power on for all sensors in the model train technology world, uh, the blue light will flash four times and that tells me that all of the communication between the sensors is live and working. 
All right, so there's the four flashes, so we're ready to go. And I'm going to just uh, move in here. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to just slide the train across the rails, and you'll see that the blue light went on and the green light to indicate, let's say this is coming from the west, so the trigger on here uh, for the westbound side would trigger maybe a signal or a switch that was ahead of it, and it will stay green until the train leaves that section. Now, the, coming the other way, you'll see that the light turned red, and that means that we're coming from the eastbound side, and it'll stay occupied that way uh, until the train leaves. Uh, and so we'll just do that right here, okay? And you'll notice that above the rail, uh, again, using our precision sensors, uh, you, you're not detecting anything. There's an N scale uh, and an HO scale and an O scale version. If I put my hand right over here, about that distance, just about that distance, about an inch plus over the track. So false readings are pretty rare and that makes it easier to work on the layout and have people leaning over and so forth. And it's not susceptible to lighting conditions. So I'm gonna turn the lights off. Uh, not all the lights, so we can see what we're doing, but we're gonna turn this main light off. And uh, so normally if you were using infrared, that would upset the sensor. And of course, uh, no problem here with our precision sensors. All right. If you have a train, so this train's going pretty slow. You know, you're going to speed it up a little bit. All right. If you have a false reading, and I, I purposely made a, a false reading there, um, just spread the sensors out a little bit more, okay? So this is about as, as close together as you want them, um, and you'll get reliable performance, okay? If you have a high-speed train, uh, just give it about maybe four inches or five inches. And if the train's going that fast, of course, you want to put this further down the track to detect things that are going on. So that's the uh, introduction to the Nano Dual, and that's available now. And you can go to the store and order it. And shipping time is about uh, eight to 10 days right now. Uh, and uh, so thank you for watching.